One of the bitter herbs which can also be used as a food is aloe vera. Aloe vera is a wonderful bitter herb known as Kumari in Sanskrit. Kumari means a maiden, a young maiden, which is a young woman, a young virgin woman, because it's particularly good for the young women. It's good for the women menstrual issues and also good for the skin you can apply topically, good for the endocrine system, the hormone system. So many good uses of aloe vera, but when taking it internally, be careful because it is a very cooling food, a very cooling herb. And if you're taking it internally, it can put out the agni as it's so cooling and it's so slimy. So you wanna add some herbs which increase your agni and, and have that deepana effect. Herbs like turmeric and cumin are very good to add with the aloe vera and able to help you digest it. A little bit in the food is okay. And of course you can harvest it, learn to peel the skin, use it topically on sunburns or sun, you know, any sun damage or any skin condition that's too hot. You can try it. it also has that astringent effect of pulling it may leave you dry. So this is just one of the bitter plants you can implement to diversify your diet and include the bitter taste. A taste that has mostly been neglected. Most of us are missing out on this medicinal and integral taste, which synergizes with the other tastes to make your food more delicious, wholesome and nourishing. In Vital Veda's online course on pure and authentic Ayurvedic nutrition, I will share with you many other substances comprising of the six tastes that can be implemented to render food Food as medicine and create delicious nourishing food. One of the three pillars of health in Ayurveda is food. Through 34 masterful videos and a beautifully detailed associated ebook, I will provide you with a holistic and comprehensive overview of Ayurvedic nutrition that you can implement for your unique body type, the climate where you live, your habitat, your daily schedule, your family and social life, and what you have available to you. How can you integrate these fundamental laws of nature, specifically correlated with nutrition and nourishment of biology, into your life in an effortless way?